Also tomorrow, a news conference will take place where a local attorney will talk about a possibly botched state execution using a new drug combination. We're told Dennis McGuire's family members will also be there to discuss exactly what happened today. We'll hear from a doctor about the controversial cocktail coming up. But first, Katie Eusen takes us to Lucasville to explain why the drugs are now in question. The duration of 53-year-old Dennis McGuire's execution is raising questions. The time of death for Dennis McGuire today was at 10.53 a.m. And it's the duration of those last breaths that's raising questions. McGuire was the first inmate in the nation executed with an untried cocktail of two lethal injection drugs due to a shortage of others. Concern was raised that he may suffer because of it, to which the director of the Department of Corrections said this an hour before the execution. I believe that um, the federal court has ruled uh, that they believe the expert, and we're not talking about our expert now, uh, that the execution will be humane. Uh, if I had, if I believed that it would not be, we would not be proceeding. But after witness accounts like this, I would say anywhere from 10 to 13 minutes. Uh, Mr. McGuire appeared to be gasping for air. McGuire's attorney said this. At this point, it is entirely premature to consider this execution protocol to be anything other than a failed, agonizing experiment by the state of Ohio. McGuire kidnapped, raped, and stabbed to death 22-year-old Joy Morningstar Stewart in West Alexandria in 1989. Stewart was eight months pregnant. In a statement, her sister wrote how they try to forget the terror she must have felt when she was attacked and left to die. All right, here we are. We are inside the media center. At Waiting for word and execution is complete is an odd juxtaposition of emotions. Stewart's sister, brother-in-law, and nephew were here to witness the execution, as were McGuire's daughter, son, and daughter-in-law. A media witness describes his final words. She says he thanked the Stewart family for their letter and... To my children, I'm sorry. I love you. I'm going to heaven and I'll see you there when you come. McGuire's attorney says they will be investigating his execution. In Lucasville, Katie Eusen, 2 News, working for you.